If you are serious about leveling up your content game, you need to pay attention. In my previous video, I shared 5 incredible tools that are absolute must-haves for any YouTube creator. And one of those game-changing tools was Opus Clip. But just giving you the name is not enough. You need to know how to truly unlock its potential and make it work for you. That is why in today's video, we are going to do a deep dive into the world of Opus Clip. By the time you are done, you'll be an Opus Clip master ready to take your videos to heights. So let's get comfortable and let's begin on Opus Clip journey together. This is one tutorial you won't want to miss because trust me, it's going to be epic. So now this is the Opus Clip website and when you go into the website, this is what you see. You can either sign in if you already have an account or you can sign up. It's absolutely free to sign up. But let's go into the pricing and see the difference between a free account and a paid account. So for free account, you have this credits refresh monthly which is actually 60 processing minutes per month you can uh, create up to 1080p clips they do give you an auto reframe and ai captions with emoji and keyword highlighter but they will have a watermark and there will be no editing and also after three days the clips will no longer be exportable whereas for the starter and the pro account there are a few features that you can have when it comes to either the starter account or the pro account so i do have the pro account over here so let me sign in and let you see what are the features that's available in the pro account once you log in they will automatically get you to drop your link if you have a youtube link you can copy and paste your youtube link here and then click get clips in one click or another way that you can seamlessly upload your videos is to drag into the portion here which is mp4 file mov mkv or webm file so it's either a youtube link if you have already uploaded it on your youtube or your zoom link especially if you have causes that you have created on zoom you can do that here as well or if you have the videos in your computer you can just drag and drop over here now depends on the length of the video they are able to generate different kind of short form videos for you to use and upload into your tiktok your instagram reels or even your youtube shots for this video it is about eight minutes long and i have about nine videos that they have given me so from the nine videos the top number one is where it gives me the virality score this is 99 over 100 and the hook the flow the engagement and the trend it's all at ace so for example if you want to use this as your short form videos you can go ahead and click on the edit clip one thing about opus clip you can edit within the platform itself you can download high definition file or you can export automatically to a premiere pro file other than that you can also do an auto post or schedule it out to your various platforms so for now i want to show you how to edit this clip so this is the page that you can edit the clip and one thing i like about the editing part over on the left hand side here is you can go ahead and edit the certain points that you want so for example right if you want to start with this word so all you need to do is you can highlight this whole line and you can remove both text and audio so automatically it will start on that particular video without you having to skim through everything that you want for example you want to edit this particular word you can just click on it and it will give you the you can also edit the correct caption you can also add in emojis you can set this as the font color or you can set it as the highlight color number one or highlight color number two you can also set this as the start of the video or you can set it as the end of the video within the text itself over here you can quickly do a quick edit if you want it all right so another another portion that i like is the fillers and pauses so for this video i don't have any fillers and pauses but there are certain videos when i upload they will actually detect 
the number of fillers and the number of pauses that I have and you can remove it automatically with just one click. So you can just click on any of it whether you want to remove the filler words or you want to remove the pauses. Now this is where you can edit your caption right. So making sure that all the captions are correctly spelled, cor correctly worded. So let's say that Opus is not giving you the correct caption, you can just automatically or you can just edit from this caption editing itself. So now you can also edit the design. So over at the design, one thing I like about um, the Opus clip, it can generate B-rolls. Okay, so if let's say, but right now it's on beta version. Alright, you can try it still. Uh, you can either generate B-roll with AI or with stock. So for example, I want to generate B-roll with stock. I just click on um, generate B-roll with stock and turn this on. So once the B-roll successfully generated, you will see at the bottom here, it has the generated stock photos. If let's say the generated photos is not what you want in the video, you can just quickly edit in here. So let's say this is, I'm not talking about this multiple clips or this paper clips. I'm talking about clips where it's video clips. So I can just uh, uh, search for video. So it will generate out all the possible photos of what you meant. So let's say I want this photo, it will then change automatically for you. Okay, so this is generating auto bureau stocks without having you to search for the stock photos on other platforms and import it back into the editing pla platform of the open script. You can also add in auto emojis. You can turn this on. It will have an auto emoji around the um, video itself when necessary and for the caption you can also change the caption the presets of the captions so if let's say i want it to be another type of caption you can they will actually change it for you automatically as well in the captions lines per page you can choose three lines or one line so if it's three lines there will be like three different lines in one whole sentences which usually is like a chunk we we don't want that to happen so usually we will just choose one line another caption transition if you want to have a box or you want to pop it up so you can do that as well you can change if you want to have a transition in between um, for the captions you can change the color you want to amplify the words color you can do that here as well um, the captions if auto it will just place on where they seem it to be appropriate um, but you can also change it whether it's going to be top or middle or even bottom okay as for the font you can change the font as well you can also change all text to be upper caps if you want to if not then you just um, turn it off you can change the font color to suit your maybe your brand colors you can also have font strokes if you want font shadows or an ai keyword highlighter this is where um it happens at the caption over here you can change the color of the keyword highlighter you can change it to suit your brand colors as well and on top of that you can also have a screen overlay so let's say you want to upload your logo or you want to have some kind of like call to action overlay on the video you can do that as well all right so that's the left hand side of things of editing so now we go to the main page here where is the timeline so on the timeline there's a few things that you can also do you can split clip and start at the current time you can also delete that current scene um, this one is very interesting you can change the layout of that scene so for example right now the layout is fit i can also do a screen share where it will split into two and you can also adjust the way you want it to appear for that particular split screen so this is to play the video and this is the volume of the video. This is the zoom, whether you want it to um, increase the timeline uh, to see how 
um, easily it is. Okay, so once you are done with this editing, whether it's a caption or the design, you can click on save and compile. So there you have it, a comprehensive tutorial of Opus Clip. We have covered everything from the basics of navigating the platform to advanced tips and tricks that will help you create short form videos like a pro. Let's quickly recap what we have learned. We have explored the intuitive interface and how to import your video's footage seamlessly. We went through the usage of virality score made available automatically. We mastered the editing with just a few clicks and let's not forget the game-changing ability to auto-generate b-rolls. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Opus Clip has a lot of features and now that you have got the fundamentals down the sky is the limit for you for what you can create so now it's time to take your video content creation to the next level opus clip is completely free to use but there are definitely some limitations as i shared earlier on i highly recommend signing up for the opus clip using my affiliate link in the description below not only will you be supporting me and this channel, but you'll also gain access to exclusive premium features that will truly supercharge your short form videos creation experience. So go ahead, click that link and let's take your YouTube journey to new heights together. While you wait for my next video, watch this video where I share about how to create a perfect video corner at home. Until then, keep creating. See you in the next one.